I found a seatbelt purse at a yard sale once, but I've never found one of these. And if this is what I think it is, it's definitely one to check off the bolo list. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Saturday afternoon and I just pulled up to Goodwill, but I'm not alone. My daughter Miley is with us. Hi. <laughs> what are you going to look for, Mai? I'm going to look for something I can sell for about over a $20 profit. Yay! Well, without further ado, let's go inside. <laughs> let's, let's go thrifting! thrifting! It's been exceptionally cold in Las Vegas this week and we've even had some snow flurries early in the mornings. It's Saturday today and it's been about, what, 50 degrees, but I hear it's supposed to get up to 70 by Monday. So the warmer weather is definitely going to be welcome. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, my, let's grab a cart. Try this one. Oop. Thank you. The color of the day is purple. All purple tags are 50% off. Over the past month, I've received numerous messages from subscribers concerned because they're no longer receiving notifications of my new videos dropping every Thursday and every Sunday morning. Come to find out they've actually been unsubscribed from my channel without their knowledge. Well, thank you everybody who's let me know that once you resubscribe and hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button, that everything goes back to normal, you're receiving notifications again, and also suggestions of other similar thrifting channels. Bear is doing wonderfully. We're taking him to the dog park still. He's enjoying making new friends, and I'll drop some footage at the end of the video. So we just had everybody else removed from the store. No, I'm completely joking. We just waited a minute and miraculously the whole aisle cleared out for us. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what we can find. I receive many messages every week asking me if I wouldn't mind going back for something that you've seen on the shelf that you want. And I'm more than happy to do that. But just please bear in mind that our Goodwills here in Las Vegas have a really, really fast turnover. And more often than not, pieces are no longer there within hours of being put on the shelves. Oh, what's this down here? This is a fantastic mask. Look at that. It's almost something from a Shakespearean play like Midsummer Night's Dream. Sadly, the top corner is missing. It's broken. But I am going to pop it in the cart and have a look and see what it's selling for. Many of you ask me how I check comparable prices. My main source is eBay. I go to eBay listings and I check the sold listings. I also check a site called WorthPoint and often Etsy. There's some ceramic vegetables there on a string. Clowns and doll figurines. A little glass candy dish. Let's see. What is this? Looks like a little carved horn. Not really sure what it's made of. It's $5.99. It says El Churro. 
I think that might be a brand of uh, tequila, possibly. Let's pop it in the cart. Be sure to move things around. You never know what's hiding at the back. The eagle statue is very lightweight, not such good quality. As is this candlestick, just a modern decorative piece. Look at this little bear figurine. When you find a collectible like this one, take a minute to look it up on eBay just to see what the demand is like. Based on how many are listed and how many are sold, you can make a decision on whether or not it's a good idea to pick it up for resale. Miley found this lovely piece of art for her new bedroom. It's a image of makeup brushes, and I think it's going to be perfect for her theme. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. There's so many glass platters still. Like I always say, if you need platters or mugs or plate sets, even pots and pans, definitely check out your local Goodwill because they're more often than not have something that you'll love. This looks like an Oroforce candle holder, but it is personalized, which makes it really difficult to resell. What have you found, Molly? That's lovely. It's like two little hearts that uh, slot together into a clamshell. Miley loves the seasonal section, all the different holidays, She's going to pick up a little sign for her room. I wonder which one she'll choose. So Valentine's Hearts and St. Patrick's Day. Down here is Thanksgiving, lots of plush turkeys. Some ornaments over here. Look at this kettle. It's hand painted with pumpkins and a turkey. That is fantastic. Created by Tanya for $3.99. I love that. And here is a little baggie of pilgrim and turkey shelf sitters. Those are lovely. I'll get these too. We're around the corner in Christmas, having a look to see what they have. Lots and lots to choose from, from ornaments. Oh, look at this. Keeneland. This is by Kurt Adler. I think this is a racehorse for 99 cents. So we'll take a chance on it. Lots of signs over here. Oh, Miley has found a Disney photo album. Many of you told me I should have picked up the photo album I saw last time here. So for $2.99, this is gonna be one of Miley's finds. All 
sorts of ornaments in here. That's a Coca-Cola one, but it looks like something's broken off there. I think it was supposed to have a polar bear on one side. So we'll leave that. Miley found a football and she just asked me that since we're getting her a few things, if we can please get this so she can give it to her little brother, Jake. She is such a thoughtful sister. Here we are in the vases and this piece caught my eye. Unfortunately, it's super duper thin glass, not very good quality. And for that reason, I'm going to leave it on the shelf. Just scanning through, there's lots of glittery votives. This is interesting. I believe this is a bud vase. You put the water in the bottom and then some blooms in either side. We'll take that. There's some more uh, glitter votives. What's this back here? It's bingo. It appears to be a canning jar with a bingo lid. <laughs> Let's scan these bottom shelves. And over in the colored vase section. What is this? This is an elephant gourd, a decorative piece. It's a bit cracked, so I'll leave that. Lots of florists vases, decorative items. I'm not seeing anything high quality or vintage here. Lots of florals, baskets, there's some wreaths back there. All sorts of odds and ends. This is a really pretty artisan pottery chip and dip. It's not signed. I really like the colors. Just checking for damage and unfortunately I'm seeing a couple of cracks. There's one here and another big one on this side. So sadly I'm going to leave it. Let's have a look in the metals, racks and holders. a little at sign and here is world's greatest grandpa <laughs> what does that say oh I have it upside down I think it says Paris yep there we go Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Miss Miley is on a roll today. She knows I have three subscribers who are interested in this pattern. So she's putting these plates in our cart. These are Port Marion. 
The pattern is watermelon and they're absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, I'm noticing they have some pretty serious crazing on them. Crazing happens with changes and fluctuations in humidity and temperature and it creates a crackle-like effect in the porcelain. Even so, for $2.99, I'm going to grab them. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. The shelves are a bit empty. It looks like they need to restock. But back here, I am seeing a Chip and Joanna Gaines Magnolia Home Hearth and Hand little appetizer plate for $1.99. I do have some other pieces in this set, so I'm going to grab it. Lots of bowls, and bakers, nesting Pyrex dishes, which are very, very heavy to ship. A nice amber baker there. Some little dessert dishes. I always check pieces like this. Uh, anything that looks like a Le Creuset, just to check. Le Creuset is a brand that does really well no matter the piece, whether it's cookware or bakeware or serveware. They have salt crocks. All their items sell really, really well. Here's another piece that's a similar look to Le Creuset. So I am going to check. It's quite a pretty pottery serve tray there. It is modern. Some more Pyrex bowls in blue. Pots and pans. Canisters. Nothing I have to have there. Even the travel tumbler shelf is empty. You just never know from visit to visit what you're going to find. I'm often asked for a list of brands that one should pick up if one is thrifting for resale. And that's a really a difficult list to create because trends change, demands change. And my usual advice is just check things on eBay, learn what's popular at the moment, learn the trends. And uh, if something is good quality, check it out. We're in the glasses and we have found this gorgeous vase. It's crystal, a sort of cubist design. It's very unique, really beautiful with no damage. It's $1.99, so in the cart it goes. Miley actually convinced me to go back for that little bingo canning jar topper too, thinking somebody would give it a good home. Here's some margarita glasses with the crooked stem, similar martini glasses. Pretty cobalt ones here. Lots of clear. There's some Skull mugs here. These are quite lightweight, not very good quality. Have a quick scan through the mugs. Look at this little koala mug. It's not often you find a mug with cute little koalas on it. And for that reason, I think I'm going to pick this one up. 
Mugs are an item that are a little bit tricky. With a value of about $15 to $20, the cost and postage can make them cost prohibitive to your buyer. So you have to be really selective with the mugs that you choose. Make sure they're high quality, desirable brands, and an attractive design. We're doing our second look around the store just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And I found this gorgeous little kite girl. She's got fantastic movement. She seems to be crafted. She's holding a wire that suspends a kite and she has a string for hanging. She's $3.99. I just noticed this flower canister from Portugal and inside is probably the sugar one. These actually come with green matching lids. So I'm going to check the condition and if they're good to go, I'm going to go to seek out the lids. Oh, sadly, you see that massive crack on the bottom. We'll have to leave them. Let's take a wander through the shoes to see if there's anything worth picking up. My favorite shoes to sell are Lady Sandals. Vionic is a really good brand. Fit Flop. Any orthopedic sandals that are high quality. And of course, they have to be in really excellent or unused condition. I found a seatbelt purse at a yard sale once, but I've never found one of these. And if this is what I think it is, it's definitely one to check off the bolo list. It is a purse made out of soda can pop tops. It's absolutely amazing. They're crocheted together and based on the zipper, I think it might be vintage from the 70s. If I can get it off the hook, we'll pop it in the cart. You lost the check in. Jake, I'll find it. You want to go help find the orange ball, Jake? Guess where it is. In your pocket? Guess where the ball is. That's like, when, that's like when you lose your sunglasses and you're on your head. Right. <laughs> I had that happen one time. I thought somebody broke into my truck and stole my sunglasses. Here they were on my head. I was at work the other day and I was watching the YouTube on my phone. And <laughs> oh, there you go. That's classic. You're watching it. That's like, oh that's classic. God, that's I've like, done that. I've done that. I thought, well, I better go home. Now. I've done that, man. Yeah, I've done that. That's funny. I'm in a stroke or something. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I've done that. That is so funny.
there. Here in front of me is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Bandit is sleeping in the box. Hi, B. And Ziggy is over this side of the stairs. Hi, Zig. Hello. <laughs> First, we have these two lovely heart trinket dishes. They actually fit together to make a closed heart. You could use them for potpourri or rings or candy. This one does have a little chip on top of this uh, point here. But otherwise, they're in great condition. They're very vintage. Just a lovely, fun piece with many uses. I paid 99 cents each, so $2 for the pair. And I will offer it at $20. I love Port Marion and I found these two Port Marion plates. Unfortunately, they do have pretty significant crazing damage all over, but for me, that just gives them some character and age and they are still lovely. I paid $2.99 for the pair. You can see that crazing there as I turn it over. And I value them with the damage at 10 to $15 each. Look at this turkey kettle. Somebody has painted a gorgeous fall scene, pumpkins with a turkey all the way around. It's just a lovely, fun piece. I wouldn't think you could use it. Uh, it would just be for decorative purposes. But I paid $3.99 for it. And I'm going to ask $30. This is a Keeneland ornament. It's quite a large size. I wasn't able to find one online. But it is a Kurt Adler piece. I paid 99 cents and I'm going to ask between 20 and 25. I believe this is a vintage party light piece. It's lead crystal, just a really nice angular design. I paid $1.99 for it, and I'm going to ask $25. Don't you just love this koala mug? I don't often find cute koala things, so when I saw this, I just had to grab it. I paid 99 cents for it, and I'm going to ask $20. I have never seen one of these before. I was going to leave it, but Miley talked me into rescuing it. It's a bingo canning jar lid. It's very unique. Even comes with a small canning jar. I paid 99 cents for it, and I'm going to ask $20. Miley also picked this Disney Mickey and Minnie Noel uh, picture or photo album. It's brand new in the plastic. It's by Disney. She paid $2.99 for it and she's going to ask $15. I have three 
subscribers who've asked me to look out for this particular pattern for them. So when Miley saw these, she knew that I'd want to get them and put them in the cart. I believe that this is a very minimalist, mid-century bud vase. I think you put the water in the base here and just insert a few blooms in each end. I paid $1.99 for it and I'm going to ask $20. These two cute little pilgrim, American Indian and turkey sets came in a baggie. I paid $4.99 for the bag and I'm going to sell them in two sets for $25 each. This would be the first set, two turkeys, two little American Indians and a frog. They're actually shelf sitters, their legs dangle down. And this little set of two pilgrims and two American Indians will also be $25. I found this girl at the last minute. We were just doing our second round, getting ready to leave. She's absolutely gorgeous. A little crafted girl. She's flying a kite. I have looked online and I just can't find anything similar to her. But there are various Etsy artists who make little crafts like this to hang and they are valued at between 50 and $100. I would be willing to take offers on her. She's absolutely lovely. This, I believe, is an advertising piece for El Charo Tequila. It's a little horn, possibly a drinking horn, on a string. I believe it's made of resin. I paid $5.99 for it, and I'm going to ask $25. Last but not least, my favorite find of the day is this absolutely fantastic pop top crocheted vintage purse. It's a lovely brassy gold color. Each little pop top has crocheting around the base of it. The handle is crocheted. It has a, a vintage zipper. Just a lovely piece. Little um, stands on the base. It's in nice condition, clean on the inside. I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $35. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to purchase any of the items you see here at the price I've mentioned, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and I'll see you next time. Bye!